abundant videos and that is of course another black girl problem related because my natural hair is growing out way too much under these braids so when I put it down it looks like just like a box and I ain't trying to have a box on my head like I'm not doing it like I'm not doing it I'm an idiot my camera was zoomed in but of course you know first things first if you're a black girl you already know this hair pudding gel and this brush is your best friend when you're getting them edges laid like this bun didn't look this good from just putting it up. It involved time, time, to get this hair put it all over my edges and get my edges pulled back. Like I'm switching my face like, just to get my edges laid, like, like I'm like. Hey, what is up my real fam? It's Queen Debbie, but you can call me Debbie and I am back with another video. And this one is about black girl problems. So it's just about all the issues that I face on a daily basis, just being a black girl and trying to live my life and just, I'm just trying to get it how I live. I want some dead presidents. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be talking about some black girl issues and all my black girls out there will be able to relate to these on like a spiritual level. Like literally you'll be able to relate to this on like a spiritual level. Like we will connect like telepathically and you will feel my problems. And I mean all you white girls, Asian girls, Spanish girls, you got your problems of your own that you go through. I'm not trying to discredit you, but these black girl issues are just something I relate to because um, I am black, but let's not even talk about it anymore and just let's just get into the problems themselves and then we can start, we can start there. Why is it that no like popular teen brands make jeans or just non-stretch pants that fit like a black girl figure, like a black girl body? Like, you know what I mean? Like the thinner waist with the bigger hips and like the, you know that shape? Why isn't another popular brand to make any jeans for them? I go into H&M, all the jeans like size zero, size like two, size three, like size like 10. None of those sizes fit properly because um either I go what down a size and it gets up to my ass and then stops or I go up a size and it gets to my waist and doesn't fit and I spend the entire time jumping around just to bring my jeans up so they don't fall down. Like why can't you just make pants for all my black girls out there with a slim thick finger? Like I'm just trying to get some nice jeans that make me look real good and not have to walk around struggling jumping to keep these pants on like. <sighs> I don't know why some people feel it's necessary to say things like You know Debbie, you don't act black. Like you're more of like a white girl than you are a black girl. Um, excuse me, who are you exactly? Um and your your point being, um, what are you trying to say? You know, like I'm just like saying that like you don't act like other black people. I don't know who you are or who you think like what you think you can do to come to me and tell me I don't act like more like a white girl with it what, what does that mean okay i'm sorry that i occasionally go to starbucks and i follow the cliche white girl rules but um as far as like i'm concerned there wasn't like specific like things you had to meet to be considered black or like specific like specifications that you had to meet otherwise you weren't black like i don't know who you are who taught you that but they did you wrong and you're doing me wrong now you're doing me wrong this one I think is the biggest struggle of them all and it is about doing hair and how doing hair is literally an event. When I did these braids, I had to plan like three weeks ahead. I had to go to work like book off days, make sure I'm not hanging out with nobody, make sure mom's not working, make sure I'm not working, not doing anything because just getting your hair to look like anything is an event. Doing braids, taking out braids, just straining your natural hair, doing all this. Especially if your parents do it, or even if you go to a salon, it's literally an event and a whole day. Like, some people go to like the salon, it takes them like an hour or something. I swear to God, this is not a lie. Anytime I've ever gone to the salon and get my hair done, it's taking close to six hours of sitting there and having my hair pulled back and being like, ow, like, ow, like, ow, like, ow, like, every two seconds because my hair is being pulled, getting a braid, like, and that's not easy, it's not, it hurts. These braids hurt, like, you don't know how tight they are pulling on your hair and going to sleep the next day, you gotta take Tylenol before you lay down and be like, where'd you cry? Because your hair is so tight, like, that's a, that's a serious issue right there. Hair is difficult, like, having natural hair, washing natural hair, straining natural hair, getting braids and all this stuff is not just a simple thing. It is an event in itself. This one is just straight up disrespectful when people do it, but what is with anybody asking, can I touch your hair? Or just like straight up touching your hair without like even, not even addressing you, just touching your hair. I don't know who taught you 
Do I look like a dog? Do I look like an animal that you can just go and pet? Because as far as I know, I'm a human. I'm not, I don't know who taught you to like pet humans, but I'm not your dog. Um, I'm not just something you can go and pet. I'm not like an animal. Um, don't touch me. Don't ask to touch me because that's weird. If I came up to you, hey, can I rub your face? I mean, that's extreme, but seriously, like, hey, can I rub your face? Like, or just straight up touch your face. Well, your face is different from mine, so I just wanted to, like, see what it was like. Um, who are you? Don't touch my hair. Don't touch my hair. Going outside when it's raining or going swimming with friends is a trouble, is just a hassle. Like, when it's raining outside and I, like, go somewhere, and it wasn't raining when I got there, so I didn't bring a jacket or an umbrella or prepare to protect my hair, and then I'm getting ready to leave that place and it is pouring outside and either I just got my hair done or, you know, at any point, getting your hair wet is the worst thing ever. One, because your hair, your natural hair will go straight from like, because your hair will go from being like all good and like soft and whatever to being increasing like four times the size and just like drying out and going out in the rain is the worst. You end up doing something like putting a bag over your head, like no holds bound when it comes to that. I'm taking a bag, I'm putting it over my head. I don't care what anyone thinks, I'm protecting my hair. And then going swimming, as a child, they used to wear a shower cap. Like, I think everyone did that. Like, going to a water park, you're wearing a shower cap. Like, your parents will make you wear a shower cap. But going swimming, I either um, plan to go swimming when it's a day I'm taking out my braids or I have natural hair in so I can wash it, or um, I just avoid getting my hair wet as like, much as possible. As, like, as much as possible. As much as possible. This one is, again, what you do when you do this kind of shit. Coming at me with... You're pretty for a black girl. I don't know who taught you, who taught you that addressing someone saying they're pretty for a black girl was a compliment. And are you, are you saying every black girl's ugly or something? Or like consistently these black girls are known to be ugly? I don't know what, I don't know what stereotype you follow in or what, what, what your mind process is when you said, hey, you're pretty for a black girl. Like, that's me going up like, like, I don't know, like going up to a white person and be like, hey, you're not that ignorant for a white person. Like, that's not a compliment. Like, that's not a compliment. Like, that's, you're trying to compliment them. Like, why, if you're gonna say anything, just be like, you're pretty. That's it. And being like, you look nice today. No, you look nice for a black girl. Oh, yikes, I'm feeling the pain from that. That's a, don't do that, don't do that, don't. <laughs> yikes. When you go to sleep with like your bonnet, hair cap, hairnet thing on whatever you address it as i call it a hairnet because that's me i literally don't know where mine is so i'm gonna start a few pictures of like hairnets and bonnets and just silk bonnets and all that good stuff right over here but you go to sleep with one on and sometimes i even have to put two on like once i get my hair done or braids done i gotta put like two on like one in the front like one in the back and like another one like wrapped around make sure it doesn't fall off and then you wake up in the middle of the night and it's gone and it's gone, and you're tired, you're trying to sleep, but you have to find it, because you, you're not waking up with no messed up hair. Like, you just got your hair straightened, you gotta keep that bonded on, you just got your hair braised on, you gotta keep them edges laid. I'm not trying to go to school <laughs> with a messed up hair, because my bonnet, hair cap, hair net thing fell off. And I don't know where mine is right now, so that explains why my edges are always, yikes, yikes, yikes. But this is high key, kind of funny. It doesn't happen to, to me as much anymore because I used to get my hair permed and straightened so it looked like bone straight and it's actually like look nice but I just hate putting chemicals in my hair. But then people would literally, this happened in grade five or something or grade six. Someone literally said to me, because this is the first time I ever straightened my hair, they said to me, Debbie, why are you wearing a wig? Like that's the equivalent of doing the whole like, is that your real hair thing? Like, um, no, I'm not wearing my wig. I am 10 years old. <laughs> we were in grade five. I am 10 years old. Why would I wear a wig? And they're like, that doesn't look like your natural hair. And I'm like, I don't know if that's like low key supposed to be a compliment or like high key a big insult, but like this is my natural hair. Um, I grew it myself. Hi, hello. Um, I grow hair. Um, not my hair isn't super short and like dead as for some reason there's a weird stereotype like to black girls having bad hair. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who created that, but you did a bad job. Like, don't ask them if their hair is real. It's not nice. Don't ask them if they're wearing a wig. Um, don't assume anything. Don't assume it's extensions or anything. If it is, it's not your business and it's not your point, your place to give an opinion on what you think because no one asked you. Like, if they want to know, hey, does my hair look good or does my hair look real or something like that, I don't know why anyone would ever ask if my hair looked real, but if they did, sure, then give your opinion. Otherwise, keep it shut, okay? I'm playing with this if you're wondering what that noise is. 
I don't know if this makes anybody else angry, but when people call braids dreads. Mm. Yeah. That literally scared me when my phone vibrated. But when people call braids dreads, it's like, please know the difference before, before you address my hair as dreads. Dreads are something completely different. Like I'm gonna insert a picture of dreads and then insert a picture of like braids. Like I have braids, I'll insert another picture. Like those are clearly not the same thing. Please don't say anything you're not completely sure about because you may or may not be insulting somebody. And it's just really annoying having your hair called dreads and they're not dreads and they're like, what are they then? I just like full on like face palm. Like, who are you? Like, what is your question right now? What are you asking me? They are not dreads, they are braids. But that is all I have for you guys in this video about black girl problems. I hope my black girls out there related. If you can think of any other black girl problems, comment that, comment that, <laughs> comment them. I meant to say that and then them. Comment them down in the comments and I'll look through them and we can connect on a different level of like, on the spiritual level of black girl problems. If you guys like this, let me know and I'll be sure to do another black girl problem because this is just, this is just getting started on the black girl problems. There's a lot more of them than just this. And maybe I might do a benefits of being a black girl just for fun, a contrast, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys on my channel or just see you in my next video. Keep smiling, shining, and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty. Bye.